The Aussie Integration Group of Australia represent a team of highly skilled individuals who are specialised in complex surgery and the management of amputees. I am an orthopaedic surgeon. My day-to-day -day work involves operating on people with uh, problems with their hips and knees. However, I have uh, significant interest and a lot of passion toward cutting-edge technology called OC integration surgery, which is a technology that involves inserting high tensile strength titanium implants into the skeleton of uh, the residual amputated limbs. And the aim is to hook that through a small opening in the skin with a robotic arm or a leg and that would give amputees the ability to mobilize again as close as possible to able-bodied people. The osteo integration procedure was developed by Professor Breinemark in Sweden approximately 60 years ago and then became very important in dental implants. Ricard Breinemark, his son, then approximately 30 years ago started experimenting with the use of osteo integration for femurs. Associate Professor Almaderas then took that concept developed his own implant, developed his own technique, and then started doing the procedure here in Australia. The Australian group now is considered the premier center for osteointegration in the world. I became an amputee in 1997 after I was diagnosed with osteoblastic sarcoma, uh, which is a bone cancer, and the cancer had spread to my thigh and lungs. I made the decision to go to, for osteointegration because I was really struggling in a socket. Uh, I wasn't able to walk much more than 200 metres at a time without having to relax my leg or take it off and, and massage it. And by the end of about 17 years in a socket, it was just not working for me anymore, so I had to look for an alternate option. The hardest part of the decision to go down the osteointegration route was that I was one of the very early adopters, and there wasn't too many below-knee uh, amputees who had had the process done in the past. So, um, in effect, I was a pioneer of the process, and um, it was sort of heading into the unknown more than anything else. Ten years ago, I had a car accident. My leg was amputated on the spot, and I was called in as a fatality. In the last 10 years, I've had 18 operations and the last two were with Munjud. I was restricted to a wheelchair and crutches prior. Now I can walk, I have freedom, I can travel. Prior was on a socket and I could only walk 90 metres. Now I'm up to 10 kilometres. So I was born with something called tibial hemimelia, which means um, the right side of my body uh, didn't develop properly. I was amputated at 14 months, so I'd never walked on two legs. I'd always had the prosthesis and I guess I probably naively just jumped at the chance in that a, a lot of people I'd met post um, having the surgery had done a lot of research into it, but for me it was just this whole new world and the idea of getting rid of the socket because that's for me and a lot of amputees is the hardest thing it's the the rubbing and the pinching and the idea of having that more natural gait pattern and more freedom I was just ready to kind of take this chance of a better life I guess or a chance at a, at a new life. Well I think the, the main thing that differentiates the Osteointegration Group of Australia from the rest of the world is that we have done more surgical procedures, more osteointegration procedures specifically, than anyone else in the world. What that does, it gives us a certain amount of expertise, a certain amount of knowledge. We've dealt with complications, we know how to deal with complications. But I think the real difference between our group and the rest of the world are our patients. Um, our patients from the very beginning are told that they are going to be part of our family. Um, and we also try to explain to them that the rest of the world has never seen osteointegration for the most part. And just to expect that if they go to their primary care physician, their, their general practitioner, that they're oftentimes gonna get stares, they're gonna get, they're gonna get questions. And so I think our biggest difference is our patients. The best thing that's come out of osteointegration for me is getting back my mobility and my freedom to do whatever I want, whenever I want, and not to have to think about my leg anymore. What I'd like to say to the Osseo Integration team would be thank you, um, particularly to Munjid for, for not giving up on me and he created this hip, this leg and this life that I live and he was determined to continue until I was able to, to live my best life so I'd just like to say thank you. So far we have established the success of this technology. We know it works, however 
The way I see the future of the group is that we move from Australia to be training other teams around the world and convert this technology from being a niche procedure to a procedure that's mainstream, that can be delivered to people who need it most, people who are at the moment cannot afford it in war-torn countries such as the Middle East or Southeast Asia.